An Arkansan played a crucial role in starting one of TV's most influential and culturally significant programs. We're talking about Soul Train. Fox 16's Ashley King introduces us to a man who helped get the train on the tracks. Every morning before the sun even rises, this is where you can find Joe Cobb. He's the founder and owner of Ginger's Popcorn Shop on Central Avenue in Hot Springs. While his voice may not sound familiar at first, Welcome to Ginger's, where are you from? You may recognize it when he says this famous phrase. The Soul Train. Yep, this Arkansas native is the voice of Soul Train. The popular dance and music show began playing in households in the 1970s, and Cobb was there from the very beginning. In fact, Of all of the people affiliated with Soul Train from its inception, I'm the only one still alive. Born in Camden, Arkansas in 1943, Cobb moved to Little Rock when he was a teenager. I'm a Southern guy, you know, I'm not like, hey, Hollywood, you know, that's just not me. He went on to graduate from Horace Mann High School in 1961 and then attended Arkansas AM and N, which is now the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. I knew what I wanted to do. I, I knew I wanted to get in communication. After two years in college, he packed his bags and moved to the Windy City to pursue his dreams. Three weeks after I was in Chicago, I had a job working morning drive on a radio station there. Cobb worked for WVON's Morning Drive for more than 35 years. That's where he met Don Cornelius, the founder of Soul Train. Cobb is one of the few who knows how the Soul Train really got on the tracks. He says it all started with traveling concerts where they go to high schools in Chicago and feature local artists. And we would go to the first school, concert would last about an hour and a half, and I had a live band, they would pack up everything, go to the next school. And that was the train going from school to school. Cobb has never been on TV, but his voice has been featured on the show since the very beginning, and his name is even seen in the credits. I'm proud of it, you know. And but I'd, I'd be much prouder of getting paid. Cobb says the money train from his voice work has come to a screeching halt. He tells us he hasn't received a royalty check from Soul Train since 2006. Once Don became ill and had his surgeries and all of that, uh, and eventually sold the company, which wasn't too long, uh, following my last paycheck, you know, from them in 2006. Uh, Everything just went right. Cobb has been fighting ever since to get his money. We reached out to Paramount Global, which now owns the rights to Soul Train, but they have not returned our calls. They may look at me as being a thorn in their side. I'm not, I'm not trying to be a thorn in their side. I'm trying to be the entire bush. I mean, they owe me. I mean, it's cut and dry. In the meantime, he says he'll continue running things at his popcorn shop while fighting for what he feels his golden pipes. The Soul have earned him. And I did speak with Joe Cobb's lawyer. He tells me they are planning to sue Paramount and BET. I'm Ashley King. Back to you.